COVID-19 was very, very deadly because our main plan was to supply schools. And you see, when the schools closed, the farm struggled for the, last, for the next two years. But then we had strategies to survive through that. We had animals that we were able to sell. In fact, as a matter of fact, we, we were able to sell about 20 to 30 animals that, was, that we were able to pay our staff. None of our staff were taken out during the COVID-19. We all stayed working and we all stayed in production. So we have efficiently reorganized our farm. And I can assure you, there are products that we used to make. They were not making money. We had to go to the auditing of our system. And when we audited our system, we realized that there are certain products that would generate for us more money than the other products. Example, ice cream. As we talk now, ice cream generates more profit than yogurt. And it is an easy process to make. In, 15, in 10 minutes, you have ice cream. In eight hours, you have yogurt. So if we can make thousands of ice cream within a short time. The population of our country is a young one. They enjoy ice cream. So we have come out very strong and better. The environment, we have a biosecurity system. When you walk in, we have a wall fence. We have fence around the place. We have disinfection at the, at the entrance. So that is the biosecurity. As you come in, you disinfect. Leave out, leave out the germs there. As you get out of the farm, you disinfect. But also, if any disease manages to come in, we contain it by managing those cows so that they don't, we, iso, we, uh, we, we use quarantine. And when we quarantine, we treat that cow. And when we see that the, the, the prognosis is not good, then we can cull it, we can sell off that cow. But then that is how we manage. It is a very vigorous process and we are very focused in making sure that unproductive cows are thrown out of the farm and productive cows and profitable cows are kept on the farm. We have a lot. Technology-wise, you can see now, we have upgraded to digital ma management of our records. And, and I can assure you, as time goes on, we may even go to robot, robotic milking. So in, uh, innovation-wise, the farm is at the, the, at the forefront of it in northern Uganda. Or whereas my wife is, has been part of this. She has been an advisor. She has been a financial advisor. She was even working on setting systems of record, especially in the finance. She's very strong in the finance, but also she's very strong with the counseling. She helps to counsel our workers. She helps to encourage and motivate our workers. And she is the pillar of this farm. We have actually, that is the biggest impact that we have. Number one, we, we have farmers, we buy hay from farmers, local, local grass from farmers. And now we have a machine that can bale the hay. So the local community is supplying hay here. The local community is also supplying cow peas. In the last one year, we were able to buy cow peas worth 15 to 20 million from the communities. So we decided that cow peas must be supplied by the local communities. But also, the local community is open. We have a water source that we've decided to let for the community. And the communities come in, fetch water, because there is a challenge of water in this, in this part of the area. So they walk in, get clean water from the farm. Our relationship with the community is at its best. And they are the ones who actually protect this farm. Most of them are workers from our neighbors. They are actually stay, they are workers actually stay around the farm. And they act as the best security for our farm. Water, I decided to make a deep well and I pump underground, because animals need clean, fresh water. So I decided to do a deep well and I pumped the water into two tanks of 10,000 liters each. So eventually that is the water that we consume every day. So water is ad libitum as the, as the saying goes. The main source of energy now, we used not to have electricity, but now we have electricity on the farm. We now have biogas on the farm. We have solar system, you see all these solar lights on the farm. So those are the main source of energy on the farm. We also have a gener uh, generator power, by the way. Yeah, generated power. Now, for us, what we decided, this is a family. People know us. Actually, people don't even need signposts to know us. People have only known us for our quality services. So all the people come into, the, come into Gulu Country. You mentioned, they, they, it's actually the community is our signpost. Every time you mention Gulu Country, they say they are right there. 
So the community is our advocate and they are our signposts. And every person around this village, around this trading center, they know us. They know us for what? For quality. Well, the challenge is, number one, is that we've been struggling with getting liquid nitrogen in the region. But now we've signed, as URAS, being a consultant with URAS, we've decided to sign an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, with NAGRIC, which is the biggest institution that is regulating genetics, in animal genetics in Uganda. And now they are going to be providing a lot of liquid nitrogen for our area. Yes, the weather can be a challenge, and, uh, but that can only be managed by, by practicing uh, good environmental, having good environmental practices. So basically, yeah, we are working on our challenges day by day.